Did you know that 8 out of 10 women trying to conceive have used home ovulation tests? Ovulation tests are an incredibly valuable tool in the conception process, but not all ovulation tests are created equal. They can vary significantly in terms of what they measure, their accuracy, and ease of use. Hi, I'm Dr. Sherazad, and in this video I'll be breaking down how different ovulation tests work and how to choose the right test for you. During your cycle, there are specific days when you can conceive. The few days before ovulation, the day of ovulation, and one day after ovulation. So when and how do you actually measure when ovulation will occur? Well, one of the best ways to predict ovulation is using ovulation tests, also known as ovulation prediction kits, or OPKs. These kits measure the changes in your hormones and predict your fertile window. But first, let's figure out how ovulation tests work. Most ovulation kits look for a surge in luteinizing hormone, or LH, in your urine. If you keep testing your urine and you see a positive result on the ovulation test, there is a good chance that you will ovulate in the next 24 to 36 hours. After being released, an egg can survive in the body for 24 to 36 hours, while the sperm can survive for four to five days. So your fertile window is actually six days. Ovulation tests are only able to tell you when you're expected to ovulate. They don't actually tell you if you ovulated. And 33% of the time, no egg is released at all. It's called anovulation. If you remember, lack of an egg being released. It's the number one cause of infertility issues with women. Not all ovulation tests are the same or equally accurate for everyone. Most ovulation kits don't actually measure the value of your hormones. Instead, they have a set value or a threshold, and if you hit that amount, then a positive result is shown. These threshold values may hold true if your hormones fall in that average range, but if you're not in that range, you may get a false reading. Every woman is unique, and your hormones are too, especially if you have a condition like PCOS, which can influence hormone levels. If you're just relying on threshold amounts, you could get false positives or false negatives, which can throw off conception planning. These are called quantitative tests, and if you have irregular cycles, PCOS, or get inconsistent results with threshold-based tests, a quantitative test is highly recommended. For a home test, ease of use is equally as important as accuracy. A test that you can't take properly or interpret clearly can be misleading adding to confusion in your conception journey. Some tests are analog and some tests are digital. In an analog test, there are two lines marked control and test. If the test line is equally dark or darker than the control line, it means that your LH has surged. A line that's lighter than the control line or no line at all means that your LH surge hasn't happened or isn't adequate. This can be confusing for users and studies show that women actually prefer digital ovulation tests over analog ones. Digital tests are more expensive than analog, but help to prevent misinterpretation. They will either show you a plus sign, a smiley face, or a negative sign. No confusion there. So, which is the best test for you? Here's my recommendation. Choose a visually interpretive LH only threshold test if you're really tight on budget. And if you can afford it, I highly recommend using a quantitative test that can confirm ovulation, especially if you have irregular cycles, PCOS, or inconsistent results with threshold ovulation tests. For my patients, my friends, and my family, my recommendation is to use the Anito Fertility Monitor. Anito is a one-of-a-kind fertility monitor that helps you track all four key fertility hormones at home in less than 10 minutes. With Inito, you can find accurate values of FSH, estrogen, both alpha LH and beta LH, and progesterone metabolite PDG, which tells you if and when you have ovulated. Inito tells you when to test so you stay updated about your fertile window and maximize your chances of conception by trying to conceive when you hit peak fertility. Check in with your hormone levels anytime and track your cycle trends with detailed charts and numbers. You can share your results with medical experts or nutritionists to track your progress and tick off your health goals. Now you've learned all about how to choose the best ovulation test for you. I hope this empowers you on your conception journey. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for future videos about Inito and about fertility.